I'm sure many of you watching this will remember with great anticipation the release of the first iPad and how it evolved over the years. Now I for one was extremely excited and couldn't wait to get my hands on one. At the time I was developing software for Windows Mobile and I immediately jumped over to the iPhone and iPad once that was released. I'm sure that many of you will remember some of the older Four Pockets apps uh, like Meteor for instance which was the first DAW on iOS or one of the first. Before the days of Cubase and Logic and AUM and, and, and all the stuff we take for granted these days. Starting with iOS 9, Apple introduced a new technology called AUV3 which replaced the aging uh, inter-app audio which uh, many uh, other um, apps like Audiobus relied on. So at that point uh, the inter-app audio API was deprecated and everybody turned to developing AUV3 plugins. Now many years later I'm putting together this showcase which uh, is intended to show you some of the Four Pockets apps which I uh, enjoy and, and some of the apps I think are the best examples of, uh, of my work over the years. Uh, so what you're seeing flashing before you are many apps that I've released uh, recently and uh, I intend to go over some of my favourites with you today. Now the first app I want to take a look at is something called Evolver and this is an app that I wrote quite a while ago now and was based on the um, the Korg wave state. Now I ordered a Korg wave state on the day, day of release and uh, to be honest I was waiting six months for it and in that time uh, I wrote Evolver. So the question on all your lips is what is Evolver? And that's a difficult one to answer. Um, it's kind of a hybrid synth engine cum sequencer. Um, if you look at the top here you can see we've got uh, an area with four lanes and we can switch between these four lanes and each of these lanes can actually be either an instrument which can be overlaid and zoned and transposed or it can be a sequence and these sequences can get quite complex they can be transposed notes or they can be fixed notes so right now Evolver is waiting for incoming MIDI data and if we to play a series of chords on the internal MIDI keyboard you'll be able to hear each sequencer kicking in so let's give it a go <music> So as you can hear, we had a pretty serious uh, backing arrangement kicking when we played that series of chords, including a drum beat. And that's courtesy of the fact that the sequencers can take fixed notes or transposed notes. So let's examine this second example and see how it all works. So let's take a closer look and see what's going on here. If we solo lane A and take a listen to that, you'll notice that we're using a series of sounds and morph in between them, and hence the name Evolver. Lane B consists of a single sample which is just repeated over a fixed number of beats. Lane C is just a fixed number of samples which we're using to morph between to create an atmospheric backing. You can import these samples yourself. And lane D is a multi-sample piano.
notice here though if I play a single note we get a single note so what it's doing is responding to the chords we input and they're being transposed to create a melody so in this example we've covered two different sound sources we've got uh, multi samples which uh, we come with a whole bunch of multi samples which can be loaded and layered on each lane um, and then we have a uh, we can zone those if we need to over a keyboard transpose them where necessary um, we also have a third sound source which is more akin to a synthesizer which allows us to create uh, samples based on harmonics and layering harmonics and all that from one note uh, if you want you can randomize more find a sequence you like so as you can see uh, Evolver is great for creating these um, uh, atmospheric um, backdrops and, uh, and it, I think it's it's a fantastic synth. Overlooked, not many people know much about it, and that's why I'm bringing you it today in the showcase. Now the next app I want to present to you is Euclidean. Now a lot of these apps are born out of collaborations, and in this case this is a, a fantastic collaboration with my good friend David Collett, and he brought a lot of ideas and suggestions to this app. Now I'm very proud of this app and while it's come a long way over the months uh, and years probably since its release, uh, nothing shows it off better than my original preview. So I'm going to play an excerpt from that now. I'm sure many of you are thinking what the hell is this and the answer is it's a kind of a step sequencer uh, a four track step sequencer based on Euclidean geometry uh, that's based on uh, old Greek mathematics and uh, you can create some unique and very interesting rhythms using this Basically, uh, Euclidean has uh, four uh, sequence bands, and we call them bands, labelled A, B, C and D. And uh, the event wheel on the top left there uh, represents those bands, and the clock hands that are spinning round indicate uh, where uh, they are within that sequence. And, uh, they will uh, trigger the events that you set up manually using the events settings knobs. Now each band can send MIDI output to a destination uh, MIDI channel or MIDI bus. So there's a lot of flexibility there and uh, you can either have uh, fixed notes or we can create a sequence of notes using the editor. 
Now, as you can imagine, this is a great tool for creating little mini sequences and uh, coming up with ideas for songs. And it's come a long way since uh, the original uh, preview. <laughs> Its power comes in the ability to randomly generate Euclidean polyrhythm, polymeter and polytempo uh, sequences. Um, it's a fantastic tool. It's a MIDI generator and it does require you to feed each of those bands into an external instrument. So it's as good as the external instruments you're using. But in a way that actually makes it a great tool uh, because it's not fixed to internal sounds. So again, the reason I chose this app uh, as part of the showcase is basically it's unique. There's nothing like it. And uh, I had a lot of fun de designing this along with David. Now the third app in this showcase happens to be uh, an audio editor called Neon. And uh, I wrote this with a lot of help from uh, a friend, Greg Riker, which some of you will probably know. And uh, this... Uh, turned out to be quite a monster of an app um, as you can see this preview here was from the early days and uh, it uh, it's come a long way since uh, it had its own um, browser and uh, supported a drag and drop um, we could um, apply effects in here we could load AUV3s uh, and, 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 and apply effects using external uv 3s and so on. Now one useful feature for Neon was it could be used as a clip launcher in this example. So as you can see, this was a great uh, tool for AUM users, uh, having the ability to uh, launch uh, clips in either looped or, or continuous play mode uh, was quite a useful feature at the time. Neon also features some uh, interesting and unusual ways of editing uh, stereo audio clips using pinch to zoom which uh, were fantastic for, uh, for, for editing out particular bits of sound. Pull me in and you push me out. Pull me in and you push me out. Another great feature was the ability to use scrubbing and the particle engine, which could be used to extract uh, various uh, sound samples from uh, uh, picking static positions within a, say, vocal line like this. So if we hit the extract button and give a number of seconds. So as you can see, it's a very, very nice way of extracting tones and drones from audio. Now, as I mentioned before, Neon has a whole host of uh, effects that can be applied. And all of them can be previewed before actually playing to the sample. And finally, another great use of Neon is to take existing samples and slice them up. You can actually create your slices in here, uh, preview them. You can even uh, trigger them via MIDI. And finally, you can export those slices to other packages or drum machines or whatever you like. Now the last app I'm going to talk about today is another one that uh, I created in collaboration with uh, many people actually, is MIDI Strummer. Now this was a very popular app uh, based around sound fonts 
So if anybody remembers the old SF2 files from the days of the uh, Sound Blaster or 32, uh, it can take these sound fonts and they uh, create the sound of the instruments. And we have a built-in uh, sequencer that can play uh, chord sequences uh, in an arpeggiated form or in a strummed form. And we can piece them together into complete songs if we like. Now for the benefits of guitarists out there, we display the actual chord up in the top left corner and that gives you a graphical representation of which notes have been played. And below the pattern editor you'll notice these 16 pads which allow you to assign chords to them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a chord and turn on the app which will play the pattern that's in the pattern editor above. And that will begin to cycle the pattern so you can actually sit there and edit the pattern as it's playing. And there's a 12 note option as well which actually doubles up the notes to create quite pleasing sound. Now what you're listening to here is uh, MIDI Strummer's own internal sound font engine. And that can be turned off so you're just outputting pure MIDI data. And once hosted as an AUV3, you can send that MIDI data to any app of your choice. This is the section where you can select your sound font. You can import your own sound fonts. We have a whole suite of um, effects here as well you can use, such as EQ and distortion and chorus and phaser and um, digital delay and reverb and so on. All the things you would expect. And if we scroll down a bit, we get to the song editor, which I previewed earlier. You can also trigger the chord sequences through external MIDI control. You can even use Strummer to create your own custom chords. And you can also change the input mode to accept piano chords and convert those directly into guitar chords. It's very easy to switch between custom variations. And you can select up to six of these variations and switch uh, variation via MIDI. So that's just about it for this showcase of video number one. Uh, more to come. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel. Give this uh, a thumbs up and uh, that really helps the algorithm. And I'll see you next time.